and uh, welcome to the shakedown of uh, Dad's new disco. So, over the last couple months since you last saw it on the channel, he's put in uh, a lot of time and effort on the truck. It's changed a lot, we'll cover that more um, when we next come to a stop. But right now we're in the Selwyn River, um, giving it a shakedown. So let's get right into the, uh, into the action. Okay guys, so while we're just cruising up the river, I figured I might as well tell you where we're at. Um, so we're in the Selwyn River as I mentioned before, but we're up the Horrorata end. We're going upstream just seeing how far we can go. Um, yeah, it's interesting wee river. I've never been this far. We've tried to get a wee way out before, but we stopped a wee way back there when it was impassable. The river was up a bit more, so all new territory, which is always interesting. But uh, yeah, it's a good, good wee test day. Interesting to see... Uh, Dad getting used to the uh, new disco, it uh, certainly makes things a lot easier with the 35s but yeah, we'll just keep on cruising up the river, see how far we can go. get quite deep up there and just too soft and poor disco just yeah bogged down and that was deep it's over the seats inside the truck so yikes I am quite cold and wet that was uh, not not very fun hopefully hopefully Jordan got some good video <laughs> <You're> <laughs> <bad at laughs> <laughs> 
Well, now that the chaos has stopped, talk you through what happened because I don't think I got much of it on video. Basically, just yeah, turned around to see Dad in real deep water, and yeah, quickly realised it wasn't coming out. So um, Ollie went in to tow him out, and Ollie got stuck because it's just soft. So I grabbed the uh, winch from Luke's truck, and we started winching Dad out. But uh, free spool jumped out, and. Oh, it's so just messy. I'm freezing like the gumboots have. Oh, you probably can't see, but. I have puddles in my gumboots. I was in up to, up to about here. So, time for a fresh, fresh change of clothes. But you never know when it could uh, all go wrong. So, it was good, good that we had um, the right gear on hand pretty much. But yeah. People that say uh, V8s don't like water, it never missed a beat sitting in water. It was over dad's seats inside, so. We had water up to about here, inside, or about there inside, so. Um, proper deep, proper deep. Anyway, obviously we're not gonna go any further upstream, so I'm gonna get changed and we'll cruise back uh, downstream and try uh, not find any water that deep. Well, there we go, bit of a change of scene. Sorry for cutting the video off like that. Um, unfortunately, yeah, the day kind of just came to the end a bit like that, and uh, before I knew it, we were, yeah, game over, back on the road. So uh, what happened was um, after we, f well, after Dad flooded the disco, um, we just headed back downstream, as you saw, and then, um, yeah, the river dried up real fast. Um, most of the Selwyn River runs underground, so, um, yeah, it just suddenly started running underground, and there was nothing much to film, and then next thing we knew, uh, this thing was on the red in the temperature gauge and uh, overheating and uh, yeah, that was probably a couple weeks ago now. Um, and yeah, it's um, been a bit of a battle ever since. We've been trying to work out why this thing's overheating. Um, we have tried a couple different things. This morning I took it for a run um, after I took the viscous fan off, um, off Lando. Um, unfortunately, didn't make a difference, still got real hot so... I just came back and Dad cracked into it, and um, we decided to check the th take the thermostat out because um, we thought possibly the thermostat was, you know, sticking or something and causing it to run hot. So Dad pulled the thermostat out and found that someone had already removed the thermostat. Um, so it's obviously, you know, a known problem from the previous owners. Um, but one worse than that was uh, one of the bolts snapped off. So. If you look here, we'll see if I can get this for you. Um, you can see that is our new problem. Um, so what we're going to do from here, I'm not really sure. Um, I'm assuming it's probably going to be uh, probably pull the intake manifold because um, that's probably going to be the easiest way to get to it. Um, otherwise, it's the whole front front motor cover and all that assembly off. So. Yeah, what a pain, what a pain, because we're meant to be going off-roading this afternoon. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's uh, now been thrown, thrown in. Oh. But anyway, that's now obviously uh, not going to be a happening thing. Um, so yeah, that's that truck done and dusted for the time being until we get that sorted. Um, to be honest, I'm going to be struggling for content the next week, but, but I'll see what we can rustle up for you. Um, definitely got some cool ideas and some big stuff happening. We're just kind of in a bit of a tricky phase because, uh, well, the hundred dollar disco over there is just uh, in timeout. Although, do have some new goodies for it over there. Um, yeah, you'll get to uh, see more about that shortly. Um, but old Lando is not doing too well. Um, the poor old thing really just needs a good refresh. Um, needs a lot of loving um, the steering is all bound up so you can see I've actually got it off the ground right now in the front um, I'm thinking it's either power steering pump or uh, steering box um, but yeah the steering's gone real notchy it's still drivable so I'm keen to try and get a couple more trips out of this thing before it gets pulled apart taken off the road for a wee bit but yeah it's, it's not doing too good um, all those coast trips, the tyres are now pretty much down to not much meat left either, so that's uh, something we're going to have to uh, address. In fact, I've got the tyres right there, but uh, 
not going to show you what's happening with those because there's some cool stuff happening with that but that'll be again a lot more work to make them fit um, anyway that pretty much wraps up today's video thank you all very much for watching uh, sorry it's a bit of a shorter one but uh, you know got to work with what we've got hopefully the weather clears up a bit more soon and we can get back on the tracks um, in fact we've actually last weekend just had a massive massive amount of rain uh, there's a lot of floods um, so there's going to be a whole lot of new uh, new rivers to go up well new features in the rivers to go explore so we'll uh, hopefully get that thing back out um, and uh, go explore shortly anyway thanks for watching give us a like if you enjoyed today's video uh, drop a comment down below of what you think of dad's new build and hit subscribe to stay tuned for everything else we've got coming up and we'll catch you all in the next one cheers for watching we'll see you then